So we are back in Belgrade after about five or six weeks exploring the whole of the country. Well, pretty much all the country. We've been chilling out for the last few days, planning our next destination. So this today is pretty much our last full day in Serbia. And we wanted to do a day trip, one last little trip. And we wanted to go to Golubac's fortress. It's like the most famous, beautiful fortress here. But to get there, you can't really get a bus. It's awkward, you've got to drive. And the weather forecaster down there is rain. I'm not certain it's open. So I was like, I'm not going, I'm not driving. I'm not driving for two, three hours. If it's gonna rain, it might not be open. And there's not really like a town there. There's a small town, but there's not much to do. So I found a plan B, which is Smed, Smedrevo. It has a fortress, which looks lovely. Um, it's only 45 minutes on a bus from Belgrade. It is on the Danube. The fortress looks like it's really pretty on the Danube, like Golubac's fortress is. Um, it has restaurants, it has a town of like 60 to 70,000 people, so I can get beer. It just sounds like the perfect last day here in Serbia. Um, but yeah, back in our favorite apartment in Belgrade. If you want more information, check down below in the description. Also, to get money off your first two Airbnbs, use our sign up code. is served so oh that is so nice in there it's like a real fancy bakery and i love this little would you call it like a terrace we've wanted to come here forever we call it the posh bakery it's a posh past. bakery and every, like you can sit outside in a little terrace it's gorgeous we've got two cheese breaks and two cappuccinos posh bakery that we cannot pronounce has the nicest little outdoor seating bit in between the buildings it was expensive but it was a good burek it could be our last serbian burek for the meantime we'll actually you'll find out tomorrow what we're doing and where we're going next in the next video it has been a lot of hassle as always at the moment um but i think we have found the correct route we've now got half an hour walk to the bus station and i think the bus comes in about an hour in an hour 45 minutes yes please. perfect thank you very much fella that was actually pretty quick, pretty easy. 500 dinars to Smedrevo. Takes about an hour, I think, from the bus station. Um, something like that. Oh, and we're pretty late. By the time we get there, it's gonna be one o'clock, so we're gonna be running around the <laughs> city to see everything. But as long as I see the fortress, I'm happy. And we have made it after about an hour to Serbia's 13th biggest city of Smedrevo. Um, luckily, we looked on maps and the bus station is right next to the fortress. That is the main reason we have come here is the fortress. So realistically, we could run out. Should we just run out to the fortress yeah. and get on the same bus back? <laughs> now we've got time. We're going to quickly walk around to the fortress though as it is like a one minute walk from the bus station. Bus station, fortress. Honestly, did not expect it to be this small. Normally fortresses are a bit of a walk outside of the town, the city. I think it is, but the bus station probably is outside. I don't know where the main city centre is, <laughs> but- Probably a minute that way. I don't think this car park is everyone that is here to visit the fortress. I think that the city's main car park happens to be next to the fortress, but the city of Smedrevo Actually, there was plans for it to be the capital of Serbia in the 15th century and the citadel for a little while, this citadel here was pretty much the capital of Serbia in the 15th century, which I think is pretty cool. It's massive, 1.5 kilometers worth of walls. I'm not sure whether that is still the case. Um, I don't know and I don't know how to get in. We're just walking through a car park at the moment, but it's massive. Look like that behind me, look at that bit. That looks like it's been eaten. There's a huge bit that looks like it's falling away. And then this tower looks like it's just been built. I definitely am just gonna say that that is not from the 15th century. They're that obviously one, gonna have redone some bits. Yeah, that one just looks way too new. It's actually massive. Huge. It feels like they go on forever. Like you can see these ones are still pretty symmetrical as well, but we've actually walked to the end I and think we found the, the entrance, we will go yeah, in. we found the entrance, so we will go in, but we're actually on the Danube. Like, what an amazing place for a fortress Perfect here. location, right? Beautiful. It's an hour along the river to Belgrade. You can see everything coming into attack. See the little boats coming across, don't know what the boats are bringing. Don't know if these boats were bringing anything back in those times. 
crazy. It feels like almost like an abandoned castle. You've got like some abandoned buildings there behind me on the Danube. You've got one of like the old lookout towers that's sort of like abandoned, unfortunately covered in graffiti. I feel like if it was upkept, this place would get so many visitors, the size of the castle itself. And the fact that, look, you're sat right on the Danube, a couple of bars or restaurants here. I think so many tourists would come from Belgrade to visit it. outside pretty well maintained in terms of the fact that they keep it clean and cut the grass so it makes a nice walkway along the river um, I think we found another entrance not the main entrance but an, an entrance on the side it just really puts you into perspective how big this is how many did you towers did you say there were 25. 25 I think we've walked past one, two, three, four, five. I think we've walked past six or seven. So it's 25. That puts into perspective how big this place really is. Okay, I was wrong. A couple of the points outside, I was like, oh, it's not that well maintained. You come in, it's a park. I didn't actually realize that it was a park with a running track. There's probably a couple of calves in here. It looks like there's a train <laughs> over there. I don't know if the train, no, surely the train tracks can't run through the castle. It'd be cool, it makes sense, wouldn't it? Like that the trains could have access. Two, please. Thank you. That is why you don't always judge a book from its cover. We've come into the park and then to get to the city dell, which was sort of like outside on the Danube, you actually have to pay 120 dinars and you've got this cool little drawbridge across. It's what, a bit shaky though. It is a little bit shaky. <laughs> across what would have been like the old river separating the fort, the city dell, to protect them. Um, yeah, 120 each to get in. This is cool. I think we could be the only ones in here. It was definitely worth 120 dinars to get in. Downstairs, we've come up now, as you can see behind me, the view is they pretty cool. They were the steepest cool. stairs ever. They were really steep. I hate stairs, but I had to do it. Down there, it almost looks like an old fashioned cowboy sort of saloon type thing you see in films, um, but they actually have shows. I don't know what shows, do you know what shows they have down there? I don't know, I know there's concerts. Concerts, like things down there, which is actually a really nice idea inside the fortress. Um, slight worrying thing is a couple of the towers are leaning in on us and there's pigeons pigeon oh, poo pigeons <laughs> everywhere they've taken over they've taken over the fortress it's now owned by the pigeons uh, it's the pigeon fortress it's so impressive how much of this has been sort of kept and restored to have been able to keep like the 1.5 kilometers of the perimeter and then all of the city dell is still pretty much here with i think all 25 towers and the views from out here looking out <laughs> over the Danube are just perfect. In the summer, you can actually get cruises from like Belgrade and you can go along, stop off here, stop off at Golubac, see in the fortress for like two or three nights. That'll be so good once this virus rubbish is out the way. Ask me why, but we have taken a detour on the way to the main square on a hunt basically for beer and churches. That is what the squares are like here in Serbia. Restaurants, main square, normally a nice big cathedral, but that behind me is where we took a detour. We took a five minute detour to see a tree, but it's not just any tree, it's an old mulberry tree that is over 300 years old. I mean, it's a cool tree and it has a lot of significance. It's actually where some famous keys were handed over in like the 1800s, um, like the keys to Serbia pretty much. And this tree, 300 years old. I told you 
always. Church, a nice restaurant. It is always a really pretty church as a centerpiece of the town. This is no different. The Church of St. George back way back in the 1800s. They all have a very similar style, don't they, with the domes. Mm -hmm. How many domes are there? Five, can you count? Five 12 sided domes in the north side. They look. We're acting as if we didn't know there's a church. We've done research. Yeah, obviously we've done surprise. research, but always in these Republic squares is there always a church, bars and restaurants, and. Beer. Beer. Thank you. We've walked all the way to the end of the pedestrian street, which is actually amazing. There are so many nice bars, pubs, restaurants, cafes. It is so gorgeous, and obviously everyone loves their outdoor seating. God, their music is loud. Uh, we've come into the Black Dogs, which is typically like a pub. It's beautiful. It's like being back home, right? Draft beer, sitting outside. We've got the sun about to creep onto us, and the Danube is just there. We will show you the whole pedestrian street once we are finished, but being the last day in Surrey, there was no chance that I didn't go. Oh my god, that looks so weird. My face is reflecting on it. There was no chance that I was not going to have possibly my last Serbian rakia. And if it is your last Serbian rakia, it needs to be plum, right? So, Jiveli to an amazing two months in Serbia. Oh, that's good. It's smooth. I'm so pleased. I don't even need to act. Sometimes I have to act because it's burning me. That's really smooth. It's not meant to burn the throat, it's meant to warm up the stomach, and that's exactly what it done. That could be the last Serbian rakia drunk for this trip. We will be back, don't worry, but this is the main pedestrian street behind me. I think the further you head towards the Danube, the more bars and restaurants appear. Closer to the main square, there is less in the middle. There's a lot, it's like full of youngsters and near, near at the end, you've got your pubs, but it's definitely highly recommended. If you come here, you need to come here for a drink. We haven't even got food, we've missed food completely. And we are now running to get the five o'clock bus so we can get back and order our last Serbian meal. This actually feels quite emotional. It will be our last time standing here. You're not gonna speak here tomorrow morning, are you? Probably. <laughs> Before we leave Serbia after two months, I actually really, really enjoyed Smederevo and I think it was a good choice mm -hmm. to go there on our last day oh. in Serbia. So close to Belgrade, yeah, that felt completely trip. different, didn't it? Really good day trip. We were saying that uh, the fortress, in terms of like what a fortress looks like, yeah, um, it's probably better than kind of Megden, right? It yeah, hasn't got as much fortress. to do, but like aesthetically wise, it's really pleasing. And the main pedestrian street is full of like the most bars we've seen. Our is, like, type perfect. of bars. It is perfect for us, right? So we've got a few things to sort out now. Um, it won't be the last time that you see us in Belgrade, Serbia. Of course, you will see us in the next video leaving, and it has been a right hassle trying to leave, and you'll find out why. Very, very soon. We've got to travel through a few countries to get to our next destination. But it has been an amazing two months in this incredible country. We've seen so much of it, and I'm sure we'll be back again soon. But for now, we will see you in the next one.